Good evening, I'm Gina Quattrogi. Thank you for joining us. Jeff Smith has the night off. INDOT has decided to install a temporary light in Boone County on the I-65 detour. This comes just a day after the sheriff reached out to INDOT for help. News 18's Brittany Tyner is live at the intersection of US 52 and State Road 47 and reports it's an effort to help make drivers more safe while allowing traffic to continue moving. Brittany. Gina, the flashers are still up at this time, but as you can see behind me, crews are working to take those down and install a temporary stoplight. As News 18 has reported, Boone County Sheriff Mike Nielsen took to Facebook to plea for a help after a fatal crash on Tuesday. INDOT said yesterday that data showed a light would not have prevented the crash, but they would continue to pursue all options. I asked INDOT spokeswoman Debbie Calder if the sheriff's plea had anything to do with the new traffic light. She never gave me a straight yes or no answer. Instead, she gave me this statement. INDOT's very committed to bringing every available resource to bear with regard to this situation and in the effort to ensure safety. We will continue to coordinate with local officials, with law enforcement, and our field experts that have been monitoring the detour since this went into effect. Other improvements at this intersection include additional patrols, warning signs, and rumble strips. Sheriff Nielsen released a statement this afternoon saying he is pleased with the decision. Now, this isn't the only intersection on the I 65D tour getting a stoplight today. I'm going to send it over to News 18 Samantha Tiki, who's standing by in West Lafayette at, with the latest on the signals at Cumberland Avenue and US 231. Sam?